So Adobe have released a beta version of Photoshop with this um, generative artificial intelligence. Um, going to give it a try on this photo I've got here of me and my daughter. Um, her arms cropped off at the side here. Now I have tried this before, um, but I just want to show you what it's like. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to extend my canvas a little bit and I'm going to do a crossover into the selective area so we can see what it needs to carry on. And um, let's see how it does. I'm not going to put anything in the box here. I'm just going to ask it to do it for me. Now, last time I did this, it did a pretty good job. Um, it's not cheating, because if I wanted to add something on, I'd do it myself. Um, but this saves quite a lot of time, which is pretty cool. Yeah, mm. don't like that one. Let's have a look at this one. No. Ah, look at that one. Yeah, that's a lot better. You see it's covered the copy of the mirror. Drop the arm in. I could bring that in a little bit and yeah, it's done a pretty good job on that. So yeah, I'd uh, I'd cut in a arm and um, this has added it in, so it's done done a pretty good job on there. Now on this one, I want it to add something in. Um, so this time I'm going to select an area and I'm, I'm going to ask it to put in a lily pad. Now hopefully it will see, oops, hopefully it will see that it's water so um, and black and white. So it would hopefully do a black and white lily pad. Here we go. And let's put the reflection in as well. So it does give you other options uh, that you can choose. Let's choose a colour one. But I can say generate again and um, it will come up with other options. But I quite like that one. That one's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, see it's done in black and white as well with a reflection. So that's quite a nice Quite a nice feature. Um, on this one, I've got a couple of annoying bits that I want to get rid of. Um, like this twig here. We'll try and get rid of that one as well. That actually cross, crosses the Kingfisher. And uh, we'll try that one at the back. So we've got one going over the front, one going behind. Um, so I'm just going to get the lasso tool and I'm going to sort of give it a good swipe. I'm not going to type anything in again. I'm going to let it decide what it wants to do. But again, you can do all this manually. But let's see. Uh, let's see what the artificial intelligence does. Just saves time when you work. Oh wow, look at that. That's brilliant. Let's go for this one here that's actually covering the Kingfisher. Let's take it in there. Up and around. Again, I'm not going to type anything in, let it do it itself. Again, it just, just takes takes away that pain and that time of doing it manually. So it probably takes, what, 20 seconds? Uh, no, I don't like that. Let's say, let's do it again. Was that on there before? 
yeah, it was. Oh well, yeah, I guess it did. Uh, I didn't think that bit was on there, but it was. I'll choose another one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then uh, let's try this bit around the back of the towel. Hopefully it will leave the towel in there. Again, not typing anything in. Let's choose another one. That's better. Oh, that's better. Third option's better. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you think? Put some comments below. And, uh, yeah, that's a new beta version of uh, Photoshop with a couple of nice new features that um, will speed up your workflow.